So what's up guys and Raghi here and I have been making YouTube videos for almost four years now as a hobby and since the lockdown has started I have had some people come to me and ask about this whole video production thing so I thought why not let's just make a video on how I make my videos like right from the scripting part that is the starting part to uploading the video on YouTube that is the last stage of this whole video production thing. So yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get started. Now, the way I make my videos is like I divide the whole production thing into various stages like scripting, getting the A-roll shots, getting the B-roll shots, then clicking the thumbnail, editing it and then finally uploading it to YouTube. So I'll be explaining what my workflow is like in every stage so that you guys will get an idea and it might help you guys a lot as well if you are into creating videos and uploading them on YouTube. Now the first stage that I go through is scripting. Now this is the most basic step and it's like the root of your entire video because if you don't have a script you just cannot make a video. You cannot just pull out your camera, shoot something, edit it and just put it on YouTube. You need to have a script and a script will really help you out in planning things ahead. So for example, you want to get a particular shot, so you just write it down and you won't forget to get that particular shot when you're shooting if you have your script right in front of you. Now one more thing that scripting helps you is in getting more ideas. Like as you go on writing your script, you will come up with more and more ideas and you know, you can try to implement those different ideas into your video. Now you can write down your scripts literally on anything. When just write them in a book, or you can use various apps like Notion, Evernote, then OneNote by Windows, Google Keep, and there are a lot of apps to use. I personally use Google Keep because it syncs across all my devices. So even if I want to write a script on my phone and I don't have my laptop with me, I can just write it down on my phone and then it will get synced up with my Google account so that I can access it on my laptop afterwards. Now, once I'm done with my script, I usually pull out my camera and I shoot the A-roll or, you know, the talking headshots, whatever you want to call it. And why I feel this is important is because you can connect better with the viewer or basically the viewer can connect better with you since you know, the viewer feels like he's listening to someone talking rather than just looking at some B-roll shots and listening to a voiceover. Now, I have some few tips if you want to shoot A-roll shots. Now, the major tip that I would like to give you is to have a soft key light. Now, as far as my setup goes, I have a window right in front of me, which is acting as a key light. And I also have a hair light on my left hand side. That is also a window. It is kind of behind me so you know it kind of creates this separation that you can see so you have a good key light that's basically all you need and if you want to you know get this whole separation thing you can add a hair light and this hair light can be of different color as well so right now since it is a window it is going to be the same as my key light but you can add different colors and try out different things to see how it suits you. Now the script really helps out while shooting A-Rolls because I can just have it right in front of me like I have it right now on my laptop and if I feel like I'm missing something out I'll just glance the script once and see if I'm missing something. If I am I'll just read it out and then just let it flow right through the dialogue. Now once I'm done shooting A-Roll next thing I'll do is shoot B-Roll. Now B-Roll is basically the shots of your product. Now if you are you know reviewing a device or something like that or for example, I have my phone right here. If I was reviewing my phone, I'll just put it up against something and get, you know put some props behind it and get some B-roll shots. Now that is pretty easy. You don't have to do anything particular for that. Talking about some tips, I usually don't have any kind of artificial lighting. So mostly I shoot in daylight. And also you can uh, write down various shots or creative shots in your script as well, if you want to include them in your B-roll. So yeah. Now, once the B-rolls and A-roll shots have been completed, what I usually try to go for is shoot a picture for the thumbnail. Now, this also totally depends on what kind of video you are making. Now, in my case, I usually do reviews and, you know, tips and tutorial kind of videos. So for that, I do the particular things that I need to do while shooting a thumbnail. So you can get creative with your thumbnails and also make sure that you do some good editing with your thumbnails because most of the people are going to watch your video just by looking at the thumbnail. 
So here we are at the final stage and that is editing. Now editing is the most important aspect you can say of this whole video production thing because just compiling videos and you know putting them on YouTube are not going to get you views and subscribers. You need to have a particular style that people might like. Now there are different styles that you can explore and you can also have your own style basically. So I would suggest you guys you know try out different styles and you know see what you like in the whole editing game and also there are various aspects like color grading then a selection of music and how you put your storyline in front of the viewer that also makes a lot of difference so yeah that is the final and not the final part final part is going to be publishing the video but i guess I won't have to give you much tips regarding that aspect because it is pretty straightforward. So that was the whole process that I go through while making my videos. Now this was a pretty generic video you can say, or not generic actually, generic video for those who have been following me since a long time and the other creators that follow me as well because they might be having different point of views on this whole video production thing. But for the people who are going to start out new, I feel like this will be a really helpful video for them so that they can do their best. So yeah, that is pretty much it for today's video. Uh, I'll have my socials linked down in the description so you can follow me there. And I also have a Discord server so you can join that too so that we can have a one-on-one -on -one chat. And yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys like the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.